So today I want to talk about the men who want to genuinely invest in a long-term relationship versus those men who will use you, take advantage of you, uh, string you along, waste your time. Um, let's. I think this would be an important topic to dive into to today. So, but I want to share with you a meme my girlfriend had sent me yesterday, actually two of them, uh, which I thought was kind of uh, funny. And then it'll dive, we can dive into this conversation of how to really recognize the man who's chasing you, and in particular, what a man needs to actually chase or invest in a relationship. So this first meme, I think is kind of cute. It says, dating when you're older is like finding a shopping cart with good wheels at Walmart. <laughs> dating when you're older is like finding a shopping cart with good wheels at, uh, at Walmart, which I think that's kind of funny because recently we we're at the grocery store and we got a cart that had terrible wheels on it. So I was like, oh, as soon as we got a good one, yay, we got a good one. And that's what it might feel like in the dating, mating and relating realm today. But the meme I wanted to dive into for everyone today reads like this, and I'm going to repeat it twice. I no longer want to see where it goes. I want to know exactly where your plan on where you plan on taking me on taking us. Let me repeat that for everyone. I no longer want to see where it goes. I want to know exactly where you plan on taking us, taking me and taking us. So, have you ever thought to yourself, where is this relationship going? Have you ever thought about asking a man, where's this relationship going? Certainly, I think that's a very valid question. What are your intentions with investing time with me? What are your intentions now that you've pursued me and we've been physically intimate with one another? What are your intentions? I think these are really good questions to ask. And yet so few women, they're reluctant to ask the question, where is this relationship going? For fear that it will cause the man to discontinue wanting to see you. Think about that fear that he will discontinue wanting to see you by simply asking, what are your intentions? Isn't that kind of scary to think that you could, this relationship is so weak, it's so fragile by simply asking the question, what are your intentions? And yet many women literally have duct tape over their mouth when it comes to this question. It's no wonder dating now is a what I call a, a long drawn out version of friends with benefits. That's right, a long drawn out version of friends with benefits. See, dating today seems to be lacking one fundamental piece for creating a healthy, happy relationship, and that is intention. Intention, in other words, what is your intention? Why are you investing in me? See, Seth, one of the reasons why I created my private coaching program, right? By the way, there's a link right here to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. What I help women do is differentiate between the men who will most likely waste your time or use you versus the men who genuinely want a life mate, genuinely want a life mate. See, what this meme is asking is, where? what is your plan? You've made this investment in me. What is your plan? Now, ladies, you also should be thinking the same thing. What is your plan for the amount, that, the amount of time you've spent with someone? What is your plan? What is your desire? These are really good questions to ask yourself rather than finding yourself uh, in short-lived experiences. So we're gonna dive into this topic right now. I wanna share with you how to differentiate between the men who are gonna waste your time versus those men who really will, let me re backtrack, let me rewind that. To know a, a man will only chase you when this happens, that's the title, okay? What has to happen? This is what I wanna lean into, what has to happen? So when a man is, let me just read from my notes. I simply say, when a man is in a good place, he has his act together and he knows what he wants. When the right person arrives, he'll invest in her. He'll chase her. I'm going to repeat that for everyone. When a man is in a good place, he has his act together and he knows what he wants. When the right person arrives, he'll invest in her. He'll chase her. Now, here's the thing. When a man is not in a good place or his act isn't together or he doesn't know what he wants, he'll string a woman along. 
seeking some connection to fill the hole inside of him. But these men rarely ever commit to a woman he's using. In other words, he'll never commit to this woman, even when things change in his life, when his act is together, he's in a good place or he knows what he wants. It's very rare that he'll want this woman because when a man is not in a good place and yet you're spending time with a man not in a good place, when he's actually in a good place, he discards the person he's with because he wants to become a bright, shiny penny to someone new. He doesn't want to stay with this person who basically helped him out along the way because she saw him at his worst. He wants to be bright, shiny penny to someone new. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever experienced this? Now, it's important to differentiate the idea of chase here for a moment. See, chase is, you got to understand that chase, a lot of men will chase lust. They'll chase limerence. Lust and limerence is a man will chase sex. In fact, every man will chase sex. I have chased sex so many times I could make your head spin. And certainly when a man is even in a good place, he'll chase sex. Okay. But you see, ultimately to differentiate what has to happen for a man who really wants, who is willing to invest in someone, he has to want a significant and serious relationship in his life. And if he's ambivalent about it for whatever reason that's going on in his life, he may chase you, he may invest in you, he may seek connection with you, but that doesn't mean he'll fully commit to you. See, for a man to fully commit, one factor has to be in place before he's ever going to fully commit to a woman. By the way, have you ever heard the phrase, uh, women are the gatekeepers of sex and men are the gatekeepers of commitment? I'm going to repeat that. Women are the gatekeepers of sex and men are the gatekeepers of commitment. What that basically means is, you know, woman decides when she'll have sex with a man. The man decides who he'll commit to. And this one factor has to be in place before a man can ever truly commit to a woman. And he has to have, be experiencing this thing to really lean into a healthy, serious, happy relationship. And he has to reach a point of, I want to take care of this person. I want to take care of this person. Doesn't mean that he has to pay all her bills. It doesn't mean that he pay, you know, it's about fully take financially taking care of her. Taking care of can mean a variety of different things. It could be financially, or at least be able to contribute financially to the 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 the, the partnership of the relationship. He has to want to do that for the two of you. He want has to want to physically take care of you if you're ever sick. If you're ever in a place where you actually might not. You know, you might find yourself in a terminal illness. He has to be in that place of reaching, I want to take care of her no matter what. And this also means I have to reach the place of emotionally taking care of her. This means trust, is have to, trust has to have been built. And trust isn't just about fidelity. Trust is. Can I count on this person when I need them? Do they have my best interest at hand? Can I share my most vulnerable side knowing that they're not going to run away? That is what trust is all about, to be vulnerable, to be authentic, to be transparent with a partner. That's what trust is all about. For a man to reach this point, he has to A, truly know he wants a committed relationship before he ever goes on a date with a woman. See, the men who are ambivalent about it, the men that are not intentional, you're rolling the dice, okay? Now, hopefully, if he has his act together and he's in a good place emotionally, the odds might be in your favor. But if he's not in a good place emotionally, if he's not in a good place physically in his life, if he doesn't have his act together, then your chances of this person actually chasing you for something other than sex is a very slim chance. Very slim chance. See, he has to know that he wants a life mate. And when he wants a life mate, he'll invest in the right woman. See, you'll know this, ladies. You'll know within three months. If a man, 
if he's progressing the relationship along, he's in a good place, he's got his act together, and he's been very clear about wanting a serious relationship, you're not even going to be watching this video. You don't even need to watch this video. What you're mostly wondering is, I've got a guy who's broken. He's not in a good place. He doesn't have his act together. He doesn't know what he wants. What's going to change for this guy? I mean, unless you're Wonder Woman, and believe me, if you were Wonder Woman on the first meeting, he's going to do everything he can to keep you in his life, okay? If you're, if you're hoping for some magic formula, some magic fairy dust to come down from the, from the ethers that will change him, you're barking up the wrong tree. That's delusional thinking. And ultimately, it does require a bit of connection, a bit of time, a bit of... of investment to one another. But when a man says, I want to take care of her, then he knows that's the woman he wants to invest for the long term. And hopefully you're in the same place with him as well. I hope this is resonating with you to, to really know what it takes for a man to really chase someone from a healthy perspective. He has to want a life mate. If he doesn't want a life mate, I need to take it slow. I don't know what I want. I need time. All those men that are putting you in the category of casual relationship, situationships, friends with benefits, but you don't really know it, those men will waste your time. And I'm here to encourage you to try something different. That's why, listen, if you need to help, check out the links below in the description to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know.